from MadeEveryday.com. Let's talk about PDF sewing patterns, which are patterns you download to your computer, you print from your home printer, and you piece the pages together. It's convenient, it's easy, and this is how you access patterns on my website and in my shop. So we will walk through the simple steps together, and then you will be set whether you're making a summer day top, or kid shorts, or a first day dress, or a baby hat, or a bonbon pet, or a baby doll basket, or a cactus pillow? Totally. Okay, let's do it. After you've downloaded your pattern, open it in Adobe Reader or Preview or something similar. And first come up and save the pattern to your computer so you can refer to it in the future rather than opening the file in the shop every time. And it's best to open your pattern on a desktop or a laptop rather than a mobile device to ensure that the pages print to the proper size. And welcome to the world of bonbon pets. Each of my patterns is a little different but follows a similar format. This is the printing page. It walks through the simple steps for printing to standard US letter size or A4 size paper. And this is the pattern page layout section. It shows exactly how the pages are going to be pieced together for the pet you are making or if you're making the summer day top or the first day dress or the kid shorts, how all of those pages go together. There will be small circles or triangles with letters or numbers to help you piece the pages together. And if at any time you are confused, refer back to this page. This next chart has a column, print pages. You do not need to print this entire pattern. In fact, I don't recommend it. Instead, you only need to print the pages for the pet you are making or for the dress size, etc. So if we're making the bunny, we only need to print pages 18 to 22. Then we have the supplies section for our project. And then we have the detailed sewing instructions with step-by-step -step information. This is a quick reference page. These are bullet points for all of the detailed instructions above. I recommend printing this page and keeping it with your pattern pieces so that once you've made one pet, you can refer back to this page for future pets. Then we have the actual pattern pieces. You can see the page numbers here, 14, 15, and this little square is a size gauge. After we print, we are going to measure this with a ruler to make sure we print it to the proper size. So let's come up and let's print our little cat. According to my chart, I need to print pages 14 to 16. And then we want to print at 100% or actual size. We don't want to fit, we don't want to shrink, we don't want to stretch, we just want to print at 100%. This particular pattern is in grayscale, but some of my other patterns, such as a summer day top, has colorful lines for all the different sizes. You may choose to print in grayscale or in color. Okay, let's print and then we will piece our pages together. Here are the two pages to our little cat face. And first we want to measure in inches or centimeters this little box right here to ensure that it printed to the proper size. And yes, look at that, exactly two inches. If for some reason yours didn't print properly, go back to your printer, check your settings, make sure you're printing at 100%. You'll notice around each page there is a little border. That ensures that if your paper was just a little crooked in your printer, that you can still piece together the rectangles perfectly and everything looks great. Now there are different schools of thought as to how you cut out and piece your pages together. Some people like to cut around the entire border and then butt the pages up next to each other. What I prefer to do is to cut along one line and then overlay the pieces together. So you want to cut on the outside of this line here. And then I'm gonna overlay on this part right here. And you can see AABB, so that's how we know exactly how the pages go together. And you can see the pattern pieces, the pattern lines coming together. And it's so easy to shift it just slightly. So, well, there we go. Okay, that looks good. Now you wanna take a little bit of tape and tape those pages together. I prefer to use a lot of tape just to make sure everything is staying exactly where I need. And then I also like to tape on the back, but you can use as much or as little as you want. I find that if it's a pattern piece that I use often, just tape that sucker together and it's all ready to go. Okay. Then we're gonna cut out our pattern piece along the line. Just like that. Now if this was a pattern that had different sizing on it, say for a dress or a shirt or shorts, you would want to find your size based on your measurements in the size chart in the pattern itself, and then choose the size based on that. It will be a different color or a different dashed line, and you follow the same color as you 
cut along all those lines. Okay, just continue on like that. You get the idea. And then after we cut out the cat face, we also need to cut out all of our cat features, the ears, the eyes, etc. And you can see there's also a size gauge on this page. So every page will make sure you're printing to the proper size. For the koala, there are four pages. So you could cut out all the outlines and butt them together or do like we did with the cat. I would cut along this part right here, overlay those pages, cut along this line, overlay, tape everything together, cut along the bottom line and then overlay that on top of this one. Tape everything, cut it all out and you're ready to go.